Hi everyone, Donna's here. I am going to show you a very quick tutorial on um, what Encosta Guard is. I've been asked many, many times. Uh, Encosta Guard is just basically using uh, a small iron with some pigmented um, beeswax. Um, and it's very strong normally. Um, they come like this. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get you into focus. So they come like this. Mostly they are blocks like that. You can get great big, great big ones, but I I like the little ones, and basically that's all I can get at the moment. Um, you can also get the sticks, which are these ones here. But I find that the sticks are the pigment's not quite as strong as the blocks. Um, so I'm more inclined to use that when I want a sort of a lighter sort of colour. I'll go for these. Okay. Um, you can get these in kits and um, the boxes come in like this so you can get like these colours, these, these and that sort of thing. There's a starter pack, expanding pack and a vivid pack so it's quite good. I like them, you get 16, I think you can get a 32 one, I normally get the 16 I think. And what some of the cards look like are these. So these are the backgrounds that you can actually do with Encosta Gart. Um, the cutouts here are from Contour Creations. Um, but I just did them for a men's card, basically. Uh, or an Australian card. And this was a Christmas one I did. Um, the same sort of thing. Um, this one here, I did some panels and did that for a Christmas card. And just did some panels with that. So there's lots of things you can actually do with it. Now, you've seen the inks. Um, this is the iron that you actually get. It's an Acoustic Guard iron. It's a specially designed iron. It's got no holes. It's not like a travel iron. Um, th this one is control temperature. So you've got minimum, high and whatever. And it gets hot quite quickly. Okay. Oh, this is what it normally comes like. Okay, and what you simply do is you pull that off and take it to the side, that's your handle, and you go like that, so that's your iron. Really, really simple, okay? You can also get a stylus that comes with it, and with the stylus you can get some different kinds of nibs, and that's a little tiny iron, and you can do different designs with these, okay? Now, remember, when it is... Um, the iron is on it. It gets hot very very quickly as same as the stylus and you will burn yourself You do need a special kind of encaustic art card It's kind of um, shiny but a matte at the same time. So it's like a matted card. I'm not sure if you can get that um, It is a little bit shiny, but basically it's a matted shine. I'm not sure uh, They used to call it black velvet in a day, but you can actually buy it just for encaustic art Which is a better way of doing it Photo paper is not the same. Um, if in case you're wondering, I have not tried mixed media paper, but this one's quite sturdy. It's like a cardboard kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. Well, we will just go and do a basic one. Um, so what you do is you put your iron up like that. I like using um, certain colours if I'm going to do like a, um, I don't know, I'm just thinking what kind of background, uh, and I want a blue. Okay, where's my purple? And I need a blue. Okay, so when I do like a a um a, a kind of a fantasy thing, that are mostly the colours I use. There's four colours, and I quite often put an orange into that, and that's something like that. So. Or yellow, something. So I work with, if you work with too many colours, it's like anything. What happens is that you'll get um, a mud effect. Just checking that iron's hot enough. Okay. I might put it up just a fraction more. Okay. So all you simply do is, you choose where you want your colours. And, yeah, so that's not quite high enough. Now it's getting there. And be careful because it is wax and it is hot iron. 
and these will melt really really fast and um, not only will they melt very fast but they will catch fire so just be warned so you just choose your colors you put them together and remember your color so blue and red makes purple um, yellow and blue makes green and so on oh that is blue I wanted a nice purple one I think that was a black aha uh -huh. here's a purple I go there and I might just a couple orange stripes and be careful don't sit it on there because what will happen is it will um, completely wipe your block out how do I know because I accidentally let it on now when you turn it over turn it flat and then there you go okay um, I don't like that huge bit of white there so I'm going to um, put a little bit more wax on it let me see I've got lots of blue so I'm going to do some more of the some red in mine and I've still got a fair bit on the iron but I'm just going to do a little bit more and I'm going to actually do some orange here or some bright red I think oh you can mix your colors you just got to be careful with how you mix them okay so that's what it looks like yeah it don't look much does it okay this is where the magic happens okay so you can just lift your iron so you, all i'm doing is gently i'm going so gently if i could show you how to do it um it would be um there you go so it is so so gently that i'm touching that and i've got an excess of that so i'm just doing it on my paper okay just like that and I just want some different shapes in this so I'm wiping the excess off and that looks like to me could be an underwater underwater theme what I'm going to do now is make sure you I can't help coming over you I'm sorry I'm gonna try to do the side a little bit but I'm not sure tilt your tilt your iron on the side and I'm going to do some reeds I'm sorry to try to I'm trying to keep out of your sight so you can see what I'm doing and then I'm going to do some rocks maybe down there I hope I got you in thing and I'll show you on a clean piece of paper in a minute so you think oh I can't really see anything that's fine okay so there you go now it's pretty flat not shiny at all so it's quite dull leave it to set for just a couple six okay I'll show you in a moment um, that one now I've also got some paper towel that all I do once I do that is I go over with the iron with the paper towel just to get the excess of wax off okay just simply turn that over and we'll start again now another idea you can have is you can do like a, a scene okay like a country scene maybe um, and to do that again I'm going to use this I'm going to turn it up on uh, a portrait angle on here you can do it however you like okay so there's the iron I'm just trying to think what side so it's going to be this side so I'm going to do some blue uh, some darker blue a little bit of pink I know you're saying what um, some brown down there and maybe a little now if you use white you've got to be careful that that will wash it out it's white it's like anything it will wash it out okay i might just do a, one of the sticks blue because it gives it a different aspect okay now let's have a go so you ready 
So I'm going straight across with this one. Okay, doesn't look much, does it? Okay, I'm going to put some more blue on. Just going to cover. I might do a little bit of a um, little bit of green, I think, actually. And you say, what the hell is this woman doing? Right. I'm going to do a little bit more darker browns, a little bit more light brown. So what you do is you're just experimenting, okay? You're just experimenting. So I'm just going to add some Oh yeah, it looks like the ocean. A little bit of sand, sand dunes maybe. So to do that sand, we might do some reeds. So what I'm doing is grabbing that and putting a tip. And this is all live, by the way. I'm not even going to do any editing. I know if you're bored, you know, look, you can always forward it. I'm trying to do it so I'm not in your way, but... My gosh, I tell you, I, I really admire the people that that um, can do that. I, I mean, if I was overhead, it'd be great, but I'm sorry, people, I really can't do that. So I'm just going to go on the side. I'm sorry if I'm in your way. I'll show you a close up in a moment anyway. Now I'm just going to do some, some maybe some rocks or something. And what I do there is I put two colours together, go tap tap, and just smooth it along. And do some out here. Some over here. Okay. So there we go. So we've kind of got a, a sand theme -ish thing going there. We've got the waves, a bit of sky up here. Pretty rough by the looks of it out there. I'll show you something in a minute though. Um, something pretty awesome. So I'll take this off. Oh my gosh, we're up to uh, 13 minutes already. I try not to be too long because honestly you do not want to be too long on videos because everybody hates them. Okay, so under my sky, I'm just going to do uh, a bird out there, a couple birds. And you can't really see it. Uh, you can in the moment, but you can't at the moment, uh, right at here. So that's two. And next one I'll do, again, I'll get a clean piece of paper rub this off and I'll show you what these look like in a moment uh, I'm trying to be really 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 quick with you okay one more here um, I might do a let me see do an orange so I'm going to do orange a bit of yellow uh, a little bit of blue my gosh that's not very dark that blue I'll do that one okay I need some more a bit more blue I think I've done that one. Okay, so I'm going to do some mountains. Okay, so I'm going to do some brown, do a streak of brown there. Um, and I'm actually going to put in some green, believe it or not, down here. See? So 
So I'm going to do some mountains. Yeah? Look weird? I agree. It looks totally weird. So we need a valley. Let's do a valley. Let's do a brownish, small brownish valley. Um, hmm, brown. Some more brown there. And I think a, I think we've got so much green, I think I'll leave that. But I might do a little bit of orange instead. And how we do this technique is that we're going to like... I call it rock the cradle, but you, you call it what you like, really. I think my iron is now up too high. So you've got mountains in the background around here. You got um, some gra um, dirt, and we might do a little bit darker grass. And you can, don't have to use this much ink; you can use very little ink. Okay, yeah, that's better for me. Okay, now how I'm going to do this? I'm going to just dab gently, wipe off the excess. We need some more over here. I'm trying to really hurry for you, but to be honest, I just haven't been able to... I'm trying to hurry. Right. And then here we want some... We can lighten the sky up if we want to. I'm just trying to be really, really quick for you. Just there we go. So there's some reeds or some grasses. Again, we'll grab some rocks just to finish off the bottom. It just makes it nice to finish off the bottom. Now, this is where my stylus is going to come into it. Okay, I might do some um, some flowers on these. So I'm going to use a pink and a red just to give it some colour. And I'm just tapping. I don't know if you can see if I'm doing that. I'm just giving that some tap. I'm just going to put some flowers over here. Do some red. I like mixing the red and together and the pink. I'm trying to hurry. Oh my God. The time's just going. I'm so, you know, like I'm really, really sorry. So we'll just do that really quickly there. So we've got some flowers in it. Okay. And I'm going to do a bird. So all you do, you use the very tip of a bird. Oh, salt wrong way. I'm just tapping to get the excess out of mine okay and there's some birds okay up in here so that was very very quick I did three then and there's one more I'd like to show you but if I don't get if it's too long just keep forwarding it you know like it's I'm sorry to be such a pain in the butt to you here you want really bright colours though so I'm going to get lots of bright colours here. So I'm going to start off with yellow. I'm going to then do orange or reddish orange. It's kind of like a, I'm not sure what kind that is. 
and uh, then a red and then a blue maybe and then I'm going to start here in the middle of the card and then I'm going to flick that around there we go so it's like a bit like a sunset or something and then I'm going to do a dark green you notice I don't wipe any of the colour off because I want some of that colour down the bottom and I actually want a little bit darker colour there like a blackish colour okay and then I'm just going to do there okay now I'm going to get a, a couple of browns like you could go for hours to to show you but really I'm you're getting a gist of it I'm, I'm hoping you're getting a gist of it I'm just doing a tree there on the side and I know I'm I'm trying to be really quick for you And I'm in your way, I know I'm in your way, but like I said, I have, this is the only way, I'm sorry. And then I want a darker green and a darker colour together to do some, some little grasses and things. And then I'm just going to do some rocks. I like doing rocks because it just kind of finishes things off, you know. Okay. So what I'm going to do there, again, I'm going to get that darker colour. Um, and not the blue, that one there. That's the purple. I'm just going to do this and a darker green. And using the stylus, I'm just going to do some leaves. And you can see what I'm doing. And if I was more time, more time, more, I'd just, I'd do it more careful than this. But I'm trying not to let you to just, um, be here for for two hours now I could just add some some bush over there add some bush here a little bit of red in that because I do love the red and pink together I can do a few trees in the background I can take some reeds right up there to that side. So you can just do what you want. I mean, honestly, it's so, so simple. So I know that's pretty rough, but I'm trying to hurry like anything. Right, now this other th one other thing that you do, you can see that's quite boring. It's quite plain. It's quite, um, so you grab some tissue. Just plain old tissue and rub it. Because wax is, 
this beeswax is like any other wax. You need to make it shine. To make it shine, you just rub it. And you rub it gently because if you don't, you rub all the wax off it. And I'm going to show you in one sec what they look like on a clean piece of paper. I call this one abstract. It's because um, you do what you can do what you want with it. I quite often get fish and things with that one. So can you see it coming to life? Just need to make sure that they, they are not real warm. And you've got to be careful that you don't actually rub all the wax off. Okay. Let me find you a clean piece of paper. And this is what they look like. Now you can see how rough that is. But it's quite effective. Okay. That one there. And you, you could turn it whichever way you think that it looks good. That one there's more to the ocean sort of theme. I could do a little shack on there. I could do tree coming up here to take that plainness off it. And you can see the shine. Again, you see you see the shine. This one here. You can see the, the birds up there. I hope you can see the birds up there. Okay. You can see the shine now. And basically that's what Encosta Guard is. It's using an iron, which by the way is filthy. And um, now to clean my iron, I use a normal candle wax. That's a normal, normal candle wax. Um, you've, got them in your uh, you've got them in your stash or your candles or whatever. Um, so really, and you can see what comes off the iron. Okay. And that's it, people. Now, just one other quickly thing. You've got lots of this kind of paper left over. This is your stash. You're not throwing it out because this makes a great background. And by the way, that actually shines up. That's my waste papers from here. That's my waste papers, okay? And then and I just rub my iron on there to scrape all this, the excess off it when I've finished painting. And these are... In your stash, what do you do with them? Junk journals, journals, backgrounds for cards, um, backgrounds for the one you just made for here, maybe, or uh, one of them. There are so many things. I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry it took so long 28 minutes. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I apologize. It is what it is. If you don't like it, hey, not an issue. If you like it, great, I'll catch you soon.